So imagine that uh, this is like you're either boot packing or whatever, and you're, you're walking in the parking lot, and you accidentally hit a rock on the side of the thing, like, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Herd, Quiddy here. I'm Gat. We're gearheads here at Backcountry, and today we're going to be talking about the top ski boots for the 23-24 season. We're going to break them out into different categories and we'll timestamp them in the video. So feel free to jump ahead for whatever category interests you most. And we're going to start with the men's Alpine boot category. And this year we've got the Solomon S Pro Super Boa 130 Grip Walk Ski Boot. The flagship new innovation that's coming out this year is they're adding Boa to boots. Yep, the game just changed. You'll see actually quite a few of the boots on our lineup do have the new BOA Fit system. It has a larger dial, so it's easier to turn with your gloves on. It also has incremental adjustments, so you can turn it one direction to tighten it and the other direction to loosen it. And then you can still pull it out to just loosen the whole thing when you're ready to pull your foot out. It gives you a more uniform closure or fit. It's wrapping fully around the lower of your foot. And that's gonna give you a tighter, higher performance feel. We should also mention the other really exciting thing about the uh, BOA closure is that obviously sometimes you might be worried about busting through a buckle. Well, for these ones, if you manage to hit a rock or something, that whole dial is actually designed to fully pop off. Therefore, it prevents it from breaking. So if you accidentally hit the BOA against the rock and it cracks off like that, instead of the BOA buckle itself snapping and shattering into a thousand pieces, the whole thing just gives away. And then you're able to actually just snap it right back on and you're good to go. And it also allows it to be replaced if you do happen to really catastrophically crack this thing off, you're able to, to uh, replace the boa. It's something that I think is, is pretty awesome and it's very robust and, and they did a lot of work and design into making sure that this boa system was ready and set up for the season. What's super nice about the boa system is that it gives you a little bit more range of adjustability when it comes to last width. So you're actually gonna be able to dial in your volume a little bit more than you would with a traditional four buckle. You can still punch this boot out, but the BOA allows for there to be a little bit more tolerance with fit. So out of the box, you're gonna have a better chance of this being the right boot for you from a fit perspective. Um, and you can also dial it in on the fly as well, which is a fantastic feature of the new BOA closure system. This particular boot is the S Pro Supra 130. This is a 130 flex boot. It's more of a stiffer boot in the lineup for more of that aggressive skier. The Supra indicates that this is a 100 last, which is more of a medium to mid-size last. It's also come standard with the HD Custom Liner, my XO Wrap 4D, which is a fantastic customizable liner. You can actually get this custom molded. You're gonna get this oversized power strap. It's the ratchet system. So you're gonna be able to get this thing, this sucker, really tightened down so you're gonna get all the performance that you want. This boot with the 130 Flex is gonna be for those hard chargers. It is an Alpine downhill resort boot. Um, I think that pretty much about wraps us up for the Solomon S Pro Supras. What do we got next? So we'll move into the men's free ride free tour category. And for this year, we've got the brand new Dinafit Tie Guard. An interesting thing about the name is Tie Guard. It's a combination of Tiger and Leopard. And for those of you who've seen the Dinafit logo before, it's got that leopard face to it. So I think it kind of continues to follow in their cadence of the snowcat vibe. It comes into 130 flex, which is a super aggressive stiff flex for that hard charging free tour, free ride skier. The other main feature that they designed for this boot is actually the walk mode, uh, which they designed or took from the design elements of the walk mode that they got from the Hoji series. And it's this Hoji lock, which is a fantastic solution for what I'm gonna call giving you the best mobility and range of motion for walking uphill, as well as giving you that really firm locked in feel and performance when the thing is, is slapped down and you're in ski mode, you're not gonna get any of that click or that feel or that looseness that you get with some other walk modes. You're gonna get a full, hard, progressive, stiff flex. The lock mode also integrates into the boot, into the upper uh, via these cables. You're actually gonna get a full tightening when you lock this thing down. Not only are you locking the spine back into place, you're actually locking and wrapping up the whole entire boot into ski mode. The other thing is too, is that that also integrates with the power strap. So with one flip of the switch, when you're going into, into touring mode or into walk mode, the whole boot's loosened up 
So it loosens up the buckles. You're going to get a loosening up of the power strap. You're also going to get 70 degrees range of motion, which is a crazy amount of range of motion for a touring boot in this caliber, in this class. So for a 130 flex and a hard charging, you're going to get all the range of the motion of a ski mountaineering boot, but you're going to get that stiffness and that, that hard charging flex that you're going to get from like almost an Alpine boot to some degree. I think this is cool. I think I like how convenient it is to kind of transition. So if you're yeah. doing some quick laps, you can do that really fast. Very different in many ways, but kind of reminds me of the convenience of that boa where you just kind of pop it, twist it, done. They just flip it up, flip it down, done. 100%. Anything that, that helps that that rider improve their efficiencies in the backcountry allows, like you yeah, like you said, like you can do more laps um, and it makes it simpler. You're going to get tech toes and then tech inserts in the heel. So it can be used for both tech bindings. It also can be used in hybrid style bindings. It is grip walk, so it technically can be used in any grip walk compatible Alpine bindings. So this is a boot that falls into kind of our hybrid free ride, but free touring category. This boot has a pretty interesting pattern on its shell. Can you tell us about that material? This boot is made out of Gorillamid carbon. The lower is, is all Gorillamid. The upper is a combination of Gorillamid and carbon. Overall, the pattern I think does a couple of things. It just allows them when they create the boot to, to be able to get those materials kind of set in the way that they want them to. It looks really cool. And I'm sure it has some form of snow shedding. It's, it's definitely not as like s sticky looking. Which yeah, definitely. Kind of cool. It has that like kind of snake skin feel yeah, to it. Yeah, having more facets for less things to hold on to. So we're going to weigh this thing. Coming in at 1,680 grams. Uh, and this is the 28.5. Uh, Dean, if it has the 26.5 listed at 1,550 grams. So following, I think, right in the range there with... Uh, the sizing there that's right in the caliber of these free tour boots we've got other boots in the line that fall into that space that are at that 130 flex so you're getting all of that range of that 70 degree range of motion 130 flex at a 1500 gram boot so you've got this kind of switch hitter do everything tie guard boot which we're super excited about okay well that wraps up the tie guard um next up we got k2 method pro right yeah really a fantastic boot more in the uh, cabrio design cabrio versus an overlap construction the difference between those two things is, is really the three piece versus the two piece this boot is a freestyle oriented boot comes in at a, a 100 flex really this boot is meant for your freestyle skier the the person the rider that's out there you know hitting jumps and and kind of doing that style of skiing ultimately this k2 method pro like it looks very familiar for some of you out there um it really is was built and designed almost taken down off of the full tilt designs that were of previous RIP to full tilt. We're super excited about the Method Pro in that it kind of continues that legacy of um, absolutely hard charging freestyle boots that's, that are gonna be high performance, are gonna give you the, the pop and feel, that progressive flex with the cab. The really cool feature that we, we like about this boot is that Pro Overlap Intuition Liner. Not only it's gonna give you that out of the box comfort initially you can also heat mold it and intuition's known for that but it also with the overlap is really going to help against shin bang so when you're you know you're overshooting those those lines and you're you're smashing it to the front of your boot it's actually going to you know soften up that blow give you a little bit more of, of a give yeah intuition makes a lot of great liners um sometimes i will ride the stock liner just to ride it for a little bit but i do tend to usually get an intuition liner and swap that out it's nice because it can fill up space if you feel like your boots are a little bit big or you're just kind of packing them out and then just to kind of reiterate just for a visual like this wrap liner literally like wraps around whereas the traditional liners it's kind of like you've got the wrap around your calf and then that little shin piece the, the tongue. tongue yeah it comes with a pretty burly power strap that's going to allow you lock your foot into place you've got the three buckle design fairly simple but a ton of ton of variability here you've got the on the sort of ankle strap it's going to pull all the way back from from kind of the core part of your ankle so when you ratchet that down you're going to get that pull where it's going to pull your ankle down into the pocket of the boot um, which ultimately helps prevent toe bang and shin bang you're locked into the boot that's the method pro from k2 the next uh boot we got is in the women's free ride category this is the solomon s pro supra 105 it does also come in a 95 it's pretty exciting both the women's lineups do have the boa system that we showed earlier the boa fit system is the same pretty much across all boots so 
Don't really need to dive back into that one, but you know, we've talked about the convenience about that fine tune adjustment of that dial. You can really just click that back and forth both directions and then pull it out to just release the whole cable like that. This boot also does have a more interesting power spine. It's got two positions for flex. It's got direct and progressive. This boot is 100 millimeter last, so it is going to be kind of more for that regular width foot. This boot is pretty similar to the men's. There's a few differences. The liner's the same, but it's got this nice soft microfiber. It gives you a little more style and more cush, which I like. And then the last difference really is this power strap. It's still kind of that burlier power strap, but doesn't have that cam in the back over here. Well, that's the uh, Salman S Pro Supra. Next, we have the Atomic Hawks Ultra XDD. So this is the boot we have for the women's free ride, free tour lineup. It is a hybrid touring boot. And it's the same boot that I have, minus the BOA system. I have a couple years old boot. I love it for a few different reasons. Um, this boot has a narrow last. It's 98 millimeters, which is great if you have a narrow foot like I do. This thing's like the only boot I've found that really fits my foot, so I love that. These buckles are pretty standard, um, just like you've seen before. They've got the micro adjustment for twisting right here. The only difference really is just this metal piece right here. This basically allows you to change your boots without your buckles like flying all over the place, just kind of getting caught on things. So it's nice just keeping it a little bit more contained. Otherwise, you've got a pretty standard walk mode. This piece just flips up, allows you to transition to walk, flips back down, locks you in for downhill. This booster strap does have this cam right here. This boot also does have the compatibility to use tech bindings for both your toe and your heel. It also has the welt so you can put it into your standard downhill bindings as well as put things like crampons onto your boot too. This boot looks very much like an alpine bind or an alpine boot but with the walk mode and the range of motion that you get out of it it's actually a very useful touring boot the weight is is light for what it is for how stiff it is it's kind of that high performance do everything boot why we have it in the hybrid kind of free tour and free ride category if you're not like too worried about cutting a lot of weight and you sometimes like having something that feels a little bit sturdy or a little bit stiffer and you like how that performs on your downhill like this is your boot right the other nice thing is that you can change the forward lean adjustment by flipping the the walk lever back here um, by moving it up and down so you can go from 13 to 15 to 17 degrees of forward lean uh, which is just a great adjustability shall we weigh it let's weigh this thing all right, so it comes in at 1,550 grams, and this boot is a size 24.5. So women, a women's 24.5 at 1,550, pretty solid. At a 22.5 or 23.5, you're going to be sub 1,500 grams, which is right in that sweet spot for that hybrid boot. So not too heavy to go uphill in, but not too light where you're feeling like you're losing any performance on the down. Okay, well that about wraps us up for the top boots of the 23-24 season. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see us ride any of these boots out in the wild, throw a comment below about what boot you want us to test out and we'll go do it. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to a gearhead and we'll see you guys out there. See ya.